Hi, ladies and gents, welcome to CEO Meets. My name is Pip Wilkins. I am the Chief Executive of the British Franchise Association, and I'm delighted to be joined by Alexis from El Gusto today. Um, hi, Alexis, how are you doing? I'm OK, thank you. Good morning. Um, really great to see you. So first and foremost, it would be really great if you could tell the audience all about what El Gusto do, um, products, services, and how it all works. Sure. So El Gusto is a very unique concept. Uh, basically, it's a new generation of, of license. So what we do at El Gusto is to bring high quality products straight from the producers. What we want to be is avoid you to travel all the world of Europe and to bring you all the beautiful products that has to offer in a Mediterranean way and sample it directly into the UK. So uh, we sell a very large selection of cocktail, liquor, spirits, uh, straight from the balloons, as you can see behind me. We have a large selection of whiskies, single malt, uh, rums, brandies, cognac, armagnac uh, that we usually keep in our cask behind. And then we sell also very selective um, oils and vinegars that are used actually by Michelin star chef uh, straight from our jars. So the products are very unique. Uh, they are high quality. But the beauty of the concept is actually to be able to create the perfect personalized gift. So uh, you can actually select any of those products. Then we have a large selection of bottles. So we have like 100 different shapes and sizes from a shoe to a star to a heart shaped bottle, you know, for your loved ones. So we will decant your selected products into the bottle. Then we will personalize it with a special pen. And then uh, you will be able to give that uh, as a special occasion. And the beauty of it, because uh, El Gusto is a lot onto sustainability and where the products come from and trying to save the planet to our scale. So basically you can bring back the bottle to our shops and have it refilled. Uh, and then we avoid to, to waste some glass again. So it's very unique. Uh, I, I love the fact that you have the display behind you so people can see it really brought to life. It's, it's great. And you've got a shoe behind you, so that's all good. Um, so talk to us a bit about franchising. You, you've obviously come into franchising and, and you're franchising stores out across the UK. Um, so when did you start your franchising journey and how many franchisees do you have now? So basically, uh, the concept was uh, created by the founder in 2000 and launched in Notting Hill. Um, straight away, we kind of went to Selfridges Food Hall and then Harrods, you know, and then it got us a lot of visibility and some attraction from potential franchisee. This was back in 2000. At the time, we were not fully ready to go into franchising because we wanted to show that the concept was working and that the, the, the shops was profitable. So after a few shops and a few years of experience, then we decided, decided to go into franchising in 2005. Um, one of our franchisees, which is actually still with us now, and she actually has two units. Uh, we have now five franchisees. Um, we're also offering a à la carte concept for pop-up franchisees, so for three months a year, which is a different concept. Uh, but yeah, no, it has been growing since, and the uh, concept is very unique. We are in the UK, but we're also expanding worldwide at the moment. So. And what countries are you looking to go into then, and where are you already? Uh, we opened a food hall in the Middle East, in Qatar last year, uh, where obviously we cannot sell the beautiful alcohol, but we have a, 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 um, extended our range of a beautiful uh, food range where we sell some macaron, caviar, yeah. chocolate, uh, ice cream, and so on. And uh, obviously Europe is a, a big market nowadays, so we would like to, uh, I'm French, but we would like to go to France and, and maybe the German speaking uh, countries as well, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so talk to me about what you look for in a franchisee. So what's your kind of ideal franchisee candidate? Uh, basically, the first thing and the very important for us is they need to want to make money. Okay, uh, we, Of course, it needs to like <laughs> to be in the food and drinks industry. But what is very, very important for us, we need entrepreneurs. We need people that uh, understand that having their own business is not a nine to five job. Okay, It's uh, working hard, for sure. Um, it is, you know, at the beginning, People come for the concept. The concept is beautiful and it works, but they also come for the person behind the concept. Yeah? So it's very important that the franchisee has some personality. He needs to be able to communicate whatever is uh, positively with the uh, with, um, customer or with us as a team. And obviously being ready to have his sleep up, uh, sleeves up, sorry, and, uh, and work hard. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how it is, yeah. Oh, and so what are the key benefits to, to the, the franchisees of joining your particular brand and system? Um, for us, you know, franchisee, we treat them, at, we like the name franchisee, but they are actually business partners because it's a real exchange. We're on the same level. So even though we are here to guide them, we will train them, we will provide everything they need to know to be successful. 
the franchisee, we have some exchange with our franchisee. So some good ideas are actually sometimes coming from our long-term franchisee as well. Um, to grow as a business and to be still there after 20, 25 years in the retail environment, you need to be able to reinvent yourself. And uh, so it's very important that we have a lot of communication with the franchisee and uh, vice versa, yeah, basically. Yeah. So uh, obviously for, for us as a franchisor, uh, the franchisee help us also to have some visibility. Uh, it's very important that uh, we treat our franchisee partners the same as we will do with our corporate stores, you know. So, um, Fantastic. And what does the next sort of five years or so hold for you? I mean, obviously growth in franchisee numbers, but expansion of products further or what, what's your big plan? What's your big goal? Uh, the vision is, yeah, we, we want to be, we are the leader in the UK, but we want to stay the leader. We want to keep, uh, you know, reinventing ourselves. So basically the product is a bit like the fashion for the clothes, you know, you keep changing. So the vodka was popular 10 years ago, then the gin came, now it's a rum and maybe the tequila tomorrow. So we need to be ahead of the, the fashion, uh, even in the drinks industry. Obviously, we have all those beautiful shaped bottles. So we need to be able to, to sew some more quirky bottles. Uh, we're launching also some range of beautiful sets that, you know, for birthdays, wedding. We just did one for just divorce <laughs> because mm. it's also, you know, a trend. Um, and then basically, um, the retail has changed enormously in the last 10, 15 years. So when High Street was very popular 10 years ago, and then the shopping centers came into effect and then kind of killed the High Street, then the online came on, you know, on board and obviously the COVID. So we need to be prepared to tweak the business model to be still successful. So we have the permanent uh, franchise uh, offer in El Gusto, but that's why we're also offering a a la carte concept, which is uh, offering the the opportunity for some franchisee to work three months a year, October to December, when we are very busy for for Christmas uh, and go to shopping malls and opening a little pop-up and um, with more flexibility, basically. So you are not linked to a permanent location for 12 months on a long-term lease, but you have more flexibility. So we need to be able to adapt the concept and to adapt the market, yeah, basically. Fantastic. Um, I have one final question for you. I ask it to to everyone, it's always my last one. What would be your top tip um, for somebody that's looking right now at buying into a franchise? What should they do? Uh, Basically, you know, they will invest some money and a lot of their time. So first they need to make sure that it's a field that they feel comfortable with, okay? Something that they like to do. But also I would spend quite a lot of time to go on some existing franchisee, uh, question them, and maybe spend some time there to work, you know, a week or two, because it's not a easy decision to make. It's a big jump to make. So obviously you will be guided by the franchisor, but you need to make sure that this, the concept is for you as well. And uh, that, uh, once again, you need to be a salesman or woman and needs to be able to interact with the people. So you need to like that and to be sure that you can do that for the next 10, 20 years. Yeah. Absolutely. It's got to be the right fit, hasn't it? And something that they're really passionate about, maybe. So anyone that likes liquor, um, I think they're going to be a really nice fit for your brand. <laughs> no, definitely. You know, we, we've been doing that for over 20 years and we still have the passion to talk about it. The concept didn't age. It's actually even more fashionable now than it was 20 years ago because it's all about sustainability and plastic free and reusable bottles. So uh, it's a great concept and it's very trendy at the moment. So. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. It was really lovely talking to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for that.